The video I'm about to show you is disgusting. Um, I found it revolting. Okay. Uh, well, at any point you want me to pause it to give to give your thoughts on this as a woman, I'd very very much like to hear what you have to say. Okay. Um, I'll save my thoughts uh, when you start reacting. I went viral for letting 23 guys run a train on me with my friend Bonnie. Now, that video is actually out now, so if you- Bonnie. Bonnie. Well, don't tell me she's your friend. Bonnie, no, no, Sorry, no. Bonnie. Bonnie is. Right, because I saved a lot of videos to show you today, so I may as well show you all in this one, yeah? Okay. Bonnie is the girl we reacted to on the latest video of all men should cheat on their wives. No. That's Bonnie. No, it's yeah? not. Show me. I'll, wa I'll watch this, yeah? But this Bonnie, yeah, she's dread. She's filth. Really? She is filth. This girl, yeah, is she goes to this place where she lets men line up to have two minutes with her to do whatever they want. What, banger? Whatever they want. They've got two minutes. She goes, I'll show you the videos. But first of all, she posted one video. I saved this for you. This is Bonnie, the... Thought I'd give you a little update before Kieran covers my face in. You know what? And that's my little t t taster I'm going to give you. Let's watch this one and then uh, I'll show you that don't one. Because I've got follow ups to this. Oh my god. Yeah, this is this is pretty gnarly. <laughs> so, right, she said how many? 23. 23. If you want to check that out, you know where to go. But if you want to be a part of the next one, I'm actually doing 100 guys in one day. So head on over to my Twitter to find out how to apply. Morning, so today is the day where I get run through by a hundred guys. How many? A hundred. One hundred. Now, I have heard from girls before that have, are sleeping with the same guy, but they have sex multiple times in the day. Mm. It can take its toll on your body, especially if the guy is like maybe a bit more aggressive. I've heard from girls that, oh, you know, I'm kind of achy. I want any type of shower because I need to like, decompress so a hundred guys to me sounds like you're going to kill yourself a hundred sounds like absolute torture it sounds like hell and i don't even know how she would have even gone past i don't know like a certain amount because it's like anyone who's say sexually active has more than likely done it more than once with maybe their partner at the time or whatever and it gets to a certain point where it's like yeah i'm sore i can't do this anymore to get to a hundred is is either they're lying or they must have been in agony like agony especially if they're using protection mm. to not get germs yeah. it's going to be even more painful 100 i couldn't even get anyway I'm, this is i'm very <laughs> unholy so Condoms I have, for fuck's sake. I think this is all I'm gonna do with my hair and makeup today. Just a bit of bronzer and a bit of blush. I'm running a little bit late, I think. It'll be totally fine, because the boys can't start without me. Oh, not looking too bad. I'm almost there now. We have to, a little bit of a late start, but that's fine. I've got time to make it back up. How's it going so far? How many are we on? I'm on eight. Eight guys. That's not the same girl. Oh, um, that is the same girl. That's not Bonnie. That's not Bonnie. This is the girl we've just been watching. Oh, okay. Right, eight okay. Eight She said only eight. Only eight. She looks exhausted after eight as well. Oh, I can imagine. Imagine being the hundredth guy though. Unless <laughs> these guys are just like just really quick that it's like barely even a session. Well, she must be lubing them up. She must be drenching those condoms in lube because can you imagine how sore she'd be if they were just like going in raw did that constantly? Yeah, but if they were like, if they last at like two minutes, then she's not going to be as in that much pain because they're barely inside that. Do, do <laughs> they, do you think there's a possibility that they don't all get to bust? Like if they go past a certain amount of time, she's like, I, We've had sex. You're not, but you haven't busted. Yeah, time to go. I reckon so. It must. You be. have to because, it, it, like, there's only a certain amount of hours in one. There's only a certain amount of hours. Do you know what I'm saying? In a yeah. hundred, hundreds. You insane. can't be doing one an hour because that's a hundred hours. So how quick is she getting one in after the other? Exactly. Yeah. 
Oh my god, this is dread. No mm. shame. No <laughs> shame. It's mad. Wow. And to put it on the internet. No, as but well. this is just basically you are a uh, prostitute, and what you're doing is probably illegal, and you're just promoting it online of what you're doing. Because if you went to the corner of a street and waited for someone to come pick you up, police can arrest you. I swear, it's illegal. Well, prostitution is the service is a service where you pay. Yeah. If she's I'm... willingly inviting guys in, then it's not prostitution. But why would you do that? Free willy, willy nilly. This is well, she's an OnlyFans model. I imagine this is OnlyFans promotion. This is the girl who got run through by a hundred guys. She's going to be that girl. Everyone's going to know who she is. So either this is just all a marketing stunt. It is. Or she, they're paying her, and she's just saying she's not because so that she doesn't get arrested. I think it's a marketing stunt. Oh, but this is worse than doing corn. I think. Yeah, a hundred guys in one day. You got to have contracted something. So this generation is. Dude, yeah, like done. no one wants a normal job no more. People want to do this shit. Wow. Bump and dump. You enjoying yourself? Yeah, I am actually. First group scene done. That was a lot, a lot of fun. Um, and now I'm on to number 16. Right. Okay. Consent so it forms. seems like what she's doing is she's they're getting free hanky panky but in turn she is filming it and they are agreeing to for their content to be used on OnlyFans so the guys are just as dreading this themselves the fact that they would go to a girl who they know is sleeping with a hundred guys in one day just to get their leg over for a bit of you know free hanky panky and to know that you're then letting yourself get exploited on OnlyFans for what reason? To sleep with this girl to say you did it? Like, I think that's dread in itself. And um, everyone involved in this whole situation is just dread. How are you going to sit there in this room with all these other guys looking at them, like, knowing they're about to just, you know, yeah. the same girl? Like, this is just weird. Being the last, like, ten guys and then being the last guy going in after she's been drenched in semen. You go in there like a hazmat suit and, like, like try to not touch anything swivel your dick in and then bang it but that's the thing it's like even if they are using protection i still feel like this is just germs and people are just actually setting themselves up to get germs yeah hand anything oh no do you think she's showering between each one she must like she looked pretty clean in her that. skin's gonna be so dry <sighs> everything's gonna yeah. be dry <laughs> <laughs> it, you're apparently oh, I was talking to my friend about this and, and she was saying to me you're actually safer going and shagging a prostitute because the chances are a prostitute has not shagged a hundred guys in one day yeah this is extreme hey, can you imagine how much money they would make in one day that would be insane this is uh, this is disgusting them guys are, are, are probably going to subscribe just so that they can watch their own yeah. footage <laughs> see which one that's, that's me that's yeah. my dick over there <laughs> about I'd say, I think about 70 people through. This is what the room is looking like, not in the best state. Um, we've kind of got things everywhere. <sighs> Someone brought me a rose. Oh my God, I forgot to vlog this. Someone bought me a fucking rose. He was the sweetest boy ever. That's someone's boyfriend. Someone bought her a rose. That's someone's boyfriend. No, 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 so girls like this are getting roses now. <laughs> girls like this are getting roses now. What, what are you trying to do? Make her fall in love with you? Why are you buying her a rose? You must have guzzled you, up you, that left and, over. And, and secondly, they're all doing it on the same bed and bedding. That is disgusting. Imagine rolling over and your hand goes in the wet patch. You don't know yeah. whose wet patch that is. It's mad. Imagine signing the form that being that guy. This is me. This is it, guys. After bringing her a rose as well. The nah. first guy, the first guy, he's, of all of them, the first uh, like two or three guys, they're off scot-free. The Duh, first guy, the first, first guy, only. yeah, the first guy especially, he's like, I, I, to me, I just got in and out. You guys were basically were sloppy seconds, thirds, fourth, fifth, all the way up to the last guy. He must be crying. Imagine being the one to sign the consent form. And it's basically like, where am I going to play? It's like the Royal Rumble, right? Of wrestling. Each guy comes out, they ring a number, and you get number a hundred. That's dread. She must have taken like Viagra or something to keep herself going. Girls take Viagra. I don't know, but I'm imagining I've not done that before anyone yeah, thinks I've, I've never heard of a woman taking Viagra. No, but Viagra. there must be. There's got to be a female version of it. Do you know what I mean? I don't think so. I think you guys just lube it up. 
Well, you no, need to. there's you, there's got to be a female one, but well, you don't get bonus. No, but you still have to be like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they just use loop. Is there by agro for women? Types of Viagra for women. Female Viagra isn't really a, a thing in the UK as mm. there aren't any approved medical treatments for women. Over in the US and other parts of the world, there are treatments such as flibanserin. When searching for female Viagra, you may also spot herbal products with impressive claims. Oh, what is the female version of Viagra? Mm. Wow, well, it sounds we need injections and all sorts. Bloody hell. Yeah, they just lube it up. Anyway, well, what I was about to say is. So she's taking up the bum as well. No, absolutely, probably not. But what I was going to say is, right, is how do you even, yeah, like, do that with probably half of these men that you ain't even attracted to as well? Like, the whole idea of it just actually makes me feel sick. Like, I would. I'd pass out. I wouldn't be able to do this. Yeah, well, Even if you said to me, I'll give you one billion pounds, but all you got to do is shag a hundred guys in one day, I would say, keep your billion. I don't want yeah. it. I no, don't want it. You're not making it into heaven after doing that. It's, it's, it's just, it's not even about that. It's just, it's just awful. And I just, it is a bit much. Oh man. my God. Barbaric behavior. Oh. Got run through by 101 men. And my eyes she let an extra one in sneaky one snuck in look it's bright now they're still recovering from all the bodily fluids that went in them these guys busting her eye in your eye a hundred cum oh shots oh my Madness. god so they weren't even busting the condom they were they were taking it off and shooting their loads on her the disrespect is real what was oh, what, what the fuck is up with her yeah 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 so yesterday I got ran through by 101 guys. Don't mind this, someone actually bit my lip. Okay, so lie. she's smoochy smoochying as well. Don't lie, no one beat you. We know what that is. We know what that is. I mean, yeah, that wasn't did... in the clip before. Yeah, exactly. If someone did bite you, that's fucking weird. The dude bit you after 100 dudes have been in there. Imagine if the 101th dude, he wants that flavour. What's that seasoning? Oh my god, it's just, this is just disgusting. This is actually disgusting and I've, I, humans are nasty. Do you know what I'm imagining in my head? That if I was to like hug her and squeeze her, she would, you know when you squeeze a sponge and the soap comes out, just loads of semen flies out of her paws. <laughs> but last night I didn't end up having a shower. Well, I didn't wash my hair in the shower um, just because I was too tired. But I want to show you guys the aftermath of what it's like to get run through by that many guys in one day. Um, I feel like I've been hit by a bus. I am so achy. Um, it went on for how many hours? We went till like, we went from 9 a.m. till about 11 p.m. I think it was. God, and do you know what, yeah? 9 to 11 is a whole shift. That's longer than a shift. That's a Imagine how you shift. exhausted you are after doing a nine to five, yeah? Let alone a nine to eleven of 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 hard grafted uh, you know. Anyway. You know one guy came in there like he was not ready to bust and he just gave her the business. But do you know what? Wait, do a bit of maths because I'm really bad at maths. If she'd done nine to eleven and done a hundred and one guys, how what was the the what's the time frames then um but i was really gonna say something let me just try and think on average just say oh, this is really so let's say the guys were lasting about how many hours did she say 11 hours um well it's 9 to 11. 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11. okay so 10 11, 12, 13, 14 hours. So they were lasting roughly eight, eight minutes, minutes each, right? So every, but that would mean every eight minutes she'd have to keep doing another one. Yeah, so some guys probably lasted a little bit less. Some guys probably went a little bit over. She had breaks here and there. So let's say on average they were lasting five minutes each, right? And then she had a couple of breaks in between. That's eight, this eight and a half hours impossible. of fucking. It just seemed impossible. Oh, she, well, you saw those guys sitting in there. It's that. Uh, 
That's um, madness. Imagine being her father and seeing that. I would I would vomit. This is also quite failed. unsafe because you've got 101 strangers coming in there. They all know where you're staying now. Like no, I think it was. I think it would probably be done in a in a like a, on a set or like they'd rent out an Airbnb or something. Yeah, but if she's staying there overnight, when she goes to leave the next day. Yeah, well, they all signed forms, so they've probably given up their information. So if they were to do something, she'd probably catch them for it. But it is still obviously dangerous because they can walk in in that moment and do something. But that aside, I mean, she's done a hundred now. She's probably gonna go for two hundred. Why? Why would she stop there? Right, this this has gone viral. It's all over the place. Hundred and one guys. I mean, look. Obviously, you can take a beating. I kind of, I can't say I respect it, but I don't know many people that can no, do no, that. No, no, no. Far from respect, Michael. I, I'm not. Respect's not the word that I want to use. But a hundred guys is like she must have some endurance i'd say get into mixed martial arts so this is the bonnie girl yeah this is her friend so yeah so this is the one that was on the podcast saying that all men should cheat is that the one yeah the same girl who so said she, the reason she's cheat. saying that is because she's out there making those guys or enticing cheat with those her. guys yeah. yeah 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 so yeah so then if i show you this do you think it's okay that men cheat on their wives with you 100 percent. why because women are lazy. If you ask the average person, when's the last time your wife went down on him? They're going to say it was ages ago. The other thing with women, they want women rights and they want things equal. But then they're the ones that want the bills to be paid for. They expect their guy to go and earn more money than them. But then they also want that guy to come home, clean the house, look after the kids. So, so, so you, can't you can't expect, expect someone, someone to do all, all of that. that. I'm and sorry, I don't know any women true. that want a guy to come home and clean the house and look after the kids. But anyway. Wait, but if a guy's out there earning all the money... I don't know any girls that are saying that. Most of exactly. the time, when the girl has uh, said, I'll stay at home, she basically is saying, I'll take on the responsibilities of the house exactly. and you earn the money. And then besides, if a guy gets into a relationship with a woman and she's like, you're going to go earn the money, then you're going to come home and do everything else as well. If he doesn't look at her and go, are you stupid or something, mm. then that's his own problem. But I don't know any girls yeah. that are Neither saying do I. that. I know girls that work and the husband works and they share responsibilities in the house because they're both working. But if one person's at home, you ain't asking me to do... I'll help when I get home, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to let my wife do everything. But there's, there's not a demand that I do stuff in the house when you're there all day. If I'm out working, you look after the house. Look after the house is easy anyway. How's she going to say women want a guy to go out and, and earn money and pay all the bills and clean the house and look after the children and not get sex in return like she's just deluded I don't know what planet she's living on like the relationships really aren't like that out there yeah, I don't and she's trying to that. justify it to make herself feel better for the dread that she's out here doing yeah if there's any guys that are in a relationship like that in a sexist relationship where you're earning all the money she's using your money and then you're also doing the housework and yeah. looking after the kids bro you're an idiot for saying you're in that get a divorce or something mm. that and then you're not even, you're not even going to do the bare minimum, which is go down on them. So when they're not doing that, I offer it free. But do you think that's okay? Well, yeah, it's a service they deserve. So do you think that you're saving marriages by sucking the box? Yeah, because then they're not having like an affair, like an emotional connection with someone. Well, it is an affair though, isn't it really? Would you cheat in a relationship? Possibly. <laughs> These husbands are telling their wife, like, I'm not happy with how things are in the bedroom. Guarantee you those wives are just going to kick off. Like, they don't ever take any criticism well. Right, so that's what she said on I this podcast. Think they're well within their right to not take that very well. What the hell is this woman going on about? And why would a guy get into a relationship with her? The premise of her argument doesn't even make sense because she's saying it's justified for men to cheat if their wife ain't giving them any. But she would go and cheat anyway. So is she saying that she would un she'd be unfulfilling to her husband too and that he would not be fulfilling her and that's why she'd go and cheat? Because that was her reasoning, right? If she's doing everything that a woman should be doing according to her, why is she out cheating and why is he out cheating? She's not even making any sense. She just, if you listen, you like sucking dick, no problem. Suck as many dicks as you want, but stop trying to justify all this bullshit. And stop trying to do it to taken men as well. Yeah, when you get to the pearly gates and God says, hey, listen, there was one dick too many. And he goes, down to hell with you. Go suck that fiery dick. <laughs> Spend two minutes with me alone or double it and pass it to the next person. Two minutes with you. He's going to be selfish and give you two minutes 100%. as well. 100%. You ready to go? Ready to go. <laughs> Perfect. Did you have fun? Absolutely amazing. <laughs> was I good at sucking your... 
Santa Claus in heaven. <laughs> well, thank you for giving me probably one of my biggest loads I've had today. He finished the dead dad. Imagine just uploading this stuff online of yourself like it is actually dread and vile. Okay, right, I'll take these two and then you three, okay? So do you want to spend two minutes with me alone or double it and pass it to the next group? Double it and pass it to the next group. No, no I'm joking, obviously, alone. <laughs> obviously two minutes alone. Okay, perfect. And what are you going to do in that two minutes? You don't want to know. You'll find out up there. Okay, are we going to have some fun? More than fun. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's unreal. Yeah. Better than anything. <laughs> Would you do it again? Yeah, next week. We'll be back. Would you recommend me to a friend? Yeah, everyone. Yeah, if I want to share. What about your dad? Probably as well, yeah. Mm, yeah, of course. <laughs> Don't understand what can be so unreal in within two minutes. Two, well, two of you being in the room with her for two minutes. Well, okay. Well, let's give her credit where credit is due. She probably sucks dicks every day. So if she's not the queen of sucking dicks at this point, then she's literally useless. She's literally banging everyone. Two guys in two minutes and they're sitting there going, that was unreal, I'm definitely coming back. Like, Well, look at it this way, right? Let me give you guys an analogy, even this is going to sound stupid. If I play Dragon Ball Z every day, I'm going to get really good. <laughs> so if she's sucking dicks eight hours a day, she must be incredible. So... Unless she's saying to them, hey, I need you to say this on camera so that I can drum up my subscriptions. What's this one? <laughs> There's more. And what about to all your family members that are queuing out there? Yeah. Hi. 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 Hey. You okay? Who's going first then? Me, 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 me. You You're going first. Do you want to spend two minutes with me alone or double it and pass it to the next person? Ooh. So do you want to be nice to your family and give them longer with me? Or are you going to be selfish and do two minutes? Selfish. I'm you be selfish? selfish? Yeah. And what would you do to me in two minutes? Tell me. You. Are you going to destroy me? Jeez. I think we should put it to the test. Yeah, Are you ready? I'm ready. Do you have your ID with you? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Would you rather? The blurring's not that good. If I was one of my boys, I would have clocked you. <laughs> yeah, the voice as well. Yeah, this is that's not that. If can you imagine it was me, they'll tell it's me straight away. You're going to have to literally <laughs> blur everything. They'll even get a smidgen of my tattoos. They're like, wait a second, I know that guy. That hair. This guy got chat shit online. <laughs> we got you. Recommend me to a friend. 100 million percent. And what about to all your family members that are queuing out there? Everybody, it's worth it. Yeah? It's worth the wait. You're extremely worth the wait. You're sexy as well. <laughs> Did you manage to destroy me though in those two minutes? Not in the two minutes, but if I had longer with you, you'd get destroyed. Exactly. He's going to come back and go again. 100 <laughs> percent. Thank you. She'll probably still find a husband, you know? Oh, of course. Of course, some cuck. Some rich cuck. She'll get a guy that's got a lot of money and very lonely, and he'll agree to let this happen so that he can also have his time with her and he can parade her around his uh, socialite events. Yeah, she'll get a guy. Especially if she's... My, uh, if apparently she's able to provide a breathtaking service in two minutes. If that's, if that's her... Uh, contribution to the world then by all means man spread those herpes man you have fun doing it last one. Oh, I know one of my friends is going to be like hey, where is she just for just so yeah 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 so <laughs> many people are actually going to go because they're just probably going to be more curious than anything but as well what I don't understand is that it sounds like she's either it's London or Essex the, the accent sounds like so she's somewhere in London coming out of I guess her apartment is it a, a somewhere she is I don't imagine it's a whole house because they're illegal. And so, That's what I'm saying. How is this allowed? Well, it's allowed because there's no exchange of money. If there was an exchange of money, then it would be illegal. But you you could go outside now and you could say, hey, you must have a shack. Yeah, Police it's can't true. Do yeah, for yeah, it. yeah. It's, yeah, when people go and stay in hotels and stuff, it's, yeah. And that's why prostitutes are able to work because they're not going, 20 pounds for a blowjob. They're going, hey when I come back to mine obviously we all know what it means pay her behind closed doors do your thing she's not announcing anything she could be making money for this but then OnlyFans isn't illegal it's a legitimate website yeah. this is promotion for OnlyFans I imagine she's probably telling the guys can I record you or put a, a mask over your face or whatever and mm. she's making her bag what's the maximum amount of people you've bonked in one day 22. So Bonnie, you've been everywhere in the media. So I saw this video before hearing about that. You've been out and done, I, Bonnie. I thought 22 was bad. I was like, oh my God, 22 in one day. She'd been outdone. 
hundred. And you know what's worse? Like, do you remember that video we saw of that girl and she was like, oh, um, I slept with 22 guys in nine days or something like that, or eight guys in 22 days, or it's something, yeah, I can't remember, it was one of our videos, yeah, yeah, just to get back at her ex. And I thought that was dread because it was over a, I thought she, maybe she shagged two guys a day. Yeah. And suddenly that's starting to not sound so bad anymore because people are out here doing this or that girl, wasn't she like giving everybody blowjobs until completion at that festival? Uh, yeah, she's an actual porn star. Well, I guess these guys are as well. I only find models count as porn stars now. I don't know, like, the, the thing is, yeah, on one hand, I'm like, my mind goes to, there's bigger problems in the world, she's not hurting anyone. But on, my, on the other hand, my mind goes to, you could actually be spreading diseases. Spreading this. diseases, yeah. Uh, but the thing is, yeah, is that like she spread. No, the, okay. Well, the way it works is that she'll spread the disease to other guys. Mm. Guys will go out have sex with other girls. Someone like me might run into one of those girls, not knowing, and you're all connected, and it's kind of, it's kind of gross. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. this is where we are in our society, you know. So I, I really don't know. I don't know what to say. A hundred guys, twenty-two guys. Right. Even if a girl told me. That she, like a girl that I was seeing, right? Not a working girl, but if a girl that I was seeing told me that she once had two different guys in the same day, I'm like, go find Jesus. Like, you're that's for too the much. streets. Yeah, you for These the streets. These girls are literally on the streets. Yeah, literally. Wow. It has a whole new meaning now. I don't I don't, don't really have much to say. No. To be honest with you. I'm, I'm quite flabbergasted. Mm. I was flabbergasted watching that. I've been bamboozled watching hers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She kept on saying, are you going to be... Uh, are you going to be nice and let your family and I was like what do you mean family are you there with your cousins or something yeah are you family there with your day brothers? out family day out let's go shag Bonnie crazy man. you'll get a lot of guys that'll probably be like in their gra guys group chat just like should we just go do it for a laugh like for bands and all of them going on a day out boys day out to go and do it and then debriefing afterwards yeah did you do this yeah yeah oh that was sick we should done like that like do you know what I mean see I get I get if like the boys were going out and they were like there was like, let's say there's five bunnies and five mm. girls. Mm. And they're like, oh, let's just go and shag them. Yeah. But there's one bunny and five guys. And I'm just like, no, I'm not going in after like my mate. Like, that's crazy. I mean, I'm not going in first anyway. <laughs> just before anyone says anything. But yeah, no, I don't know what to say, man. Like, she's not hurting anyone, I guess. But maybe she is because she's doing something unsafe. That She's not breaking the law, but it's kind of gross. Yeah. I don't know, man. There's so many bad things happening in the world r right now. Like, so many really terrible things. Mm. Like, it's hard for me to be like, oh, we need to stop this. We're already past the point of, like, saving humanity, so whatever. Yeah, if humanity's doomed. AI is going to get us soon anyway, so they're going to learn. Look at these. Have you seen those sex robots as well? Yeah, because humans are so dumb. Yeah. If, if, an, if they're going to take AI technology and then put in a, in a sex robot so that it can communicate with you and then it becomes more sophisticated and it feels like a woman... It has all of the woman's like uh, beauty with none of the things that men may, might not like. It's going to even make Bonnie's job obsolete. The AI is going to be on the street like, do you want two minutes with me? Bonnie's going to be looking like, hey, wait, that's my gig. Mate, I'd create a robot and just like a vending machine, like get bear money. Yeah, <laughs> just a cash machine. Yeah. Swipe in swipe, between the cleavage. Yeah. <laughs> swipe <laughs> up the, the <laughs> Swipe here if you want a tip wank, swipe there if you want anal. Oh, anyway. wow. <laughs>